<laughs> so these are the methods from um, Element Climbing. Um, I suppose this year's up and coming hold company, they've come from pretty much nothing to having quite a lot of holds on their website. Um, these are something a little bit different. A, because they're named differently from the periodic table or the um, natural disasters they seem to be going through lately. They're also dual colour, which is a new one for them, we hadn't seen that before. And they're evil. Quite, quite evil. Um, we'll go through the features as usual with these. Two colour. Sanding, you can see the belt sand has been over it, nice and flat. Inset washer, and as always the um, EC for element climbing. Always have really nice, really nice logos on these holds. What you're looking at for these guys is a bunch of very, very thin holds. When I say thin, they're not that thin. You know, the contact hex and rex are actually way thinner than these, and some of the Technic, I can't remember what those ones up there are called. The te some of the Technics are smaller, and some of the sequence stuff, like the butter lobes, are actually smaller than these. But what you're looking at is one padders all the way. Nice round edge, so you're not getting too much. You know, I don't. I don't bear down and crimp on stuff, I generally try and keep it open handed but you're looking at one padders pretty much throughout the entire set um, like I said which is new because generally their holds have been quite friendly um, they do well on the drop test, they bounce, one of their holds actually bounced when I was standing on the ladder and hit me in the knee, it bounced so well, it's more like a tennis ball than a urethane hold so they're actually really quite nice, texture's good you know if, you, if, you're, if, you, if you're actually at the wall and you've forgotten your, your pad for filing down your um, filing down your calluses, these actually work really quite well, um, you know, I quite like them for that, you know, not, not so good for shaving, shaving with, but you know, nice, so these are the methods, number one, number two is actually the, probably the biggest one out of the lot, you're looking at a pad and a quarter on this one, you can double hand it, we've had these on the 45, that's why they're chalked up, you know, we've had these for a while, um, and we've had these on the 45, and they're actually really quite nice, Chris set the other day, and I was like, Mm. When I see something like this near a 45 degree wall, I don't want to play. Um, they're actually much better than I thought they were going to be. They're much, much more fun to climb on than I really realised. This one's a big one-hander. Again, one pad. You can get your thumb over the end on this one without, without too much worry. It's nice and grippy. Again, this one, these two are almost, almost like system holds. They're just slightly different. This one's slightly more in-cut than this one, as you can see. A little bit steeper, not much. Again, one hand, one pad, get your thumb over the end. Another one. This one's a full on, like, this one's nice and like, this is, oh, hang on, I lied, I'm very sorry I lied. This one is the, what, this one's, no, this one's the biggest one, but this one's got the most on it for grip. This one's a pad and a half, maybe two pads, depending on the size of your hands, and this is probably the juggiest one out of the lot. Still quite small though. Nice and light as well. Nothing heavy about these guys. And then you come into the small little buggers. Nasty, nasty one pad little edges. But they're all really round, so they're really quite ergonomic and quite friendly for your fingers, which is nice. Even this one's got the little element climbing logo on it. It's tiny. Inset washer. Like, you're looking at these last ones. You're looking at tiny little holds. You know, one pad. Where you go. Dave, what do you think? You like this? Dave? No? What do you mean no? What, you prefer the granites? What? What? what, what? Would you prefer one of those? <laughs> You're looking at... <laughs> You're looking at little tiny, little tiny guys. Always one pads. Little one pad, but look, one pad, but I can still get four fingers and pr I could probably get my thumb on that if I really needed to. Same one with this, like, they're all like, you know, one pad, but you can always get your thumb over the end. And the last two, this is one of the last little tiny ones, one pad, and yeah, you can get your thumb over the end if you want, like, it is like this. That's what it ends up like, you gotta do. And then, oh thanks, you're the best. No, seriously, Dave, you're blowing my shot. Dave. What's in love Dave likes this holds. Is, this is actually how we clean our holds. We don't have a cat for house cat purposes. We just like to, you know, the chalk comes off pretty well. No right fella. <laughs>
All right, where were we? <laughs> He's actually the mastermind behind the site. I got nothing to do with it. It was his idea. He beats me. <laughs> <laughs> so the last one of the element holds. This guy here, one pad, not as round as the others, but you're looking at a one pad kink, and you can really get your fingers down on it. Um, overall, I actually quite like these. I was surprised. I saw them and was like, oh god, these are gonna be these are gonna be sucky. But they actually worked out to be really, really quite nice. Um, we'll see how they climb more. We've got some more filming to do and some more routes to set. So these are the methods from Element Climbing. Something different from those guys, so it's good to see.